Hey guys, what is up? In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make a stamina wheel like in Breath of the Wild. So let's go. First, start up a new Unity project and then go to your hierarchy, right click, go UI and add a slider. So now what you wanna do is set the height to 160. Then you wanna go in here, take the handle and disable the handle. Now go back to the slider, make it non-interactable. Now go to the fill area, go to the fill, go here under image type and make fill. And this should be automatically ready, radial 360. So now what you wanna do is go in the fill area, click here, press shift or option on Mac and go here. All right, the same you wanna do with the fill. All right, so now what you wanna do is take a circle image like I have here and drag it in here and now go to the background and drag in the same image. All right, also go to the background, go here and stretch in all directions. You can make the background a bit darker, so black and put the opacity down to like 200 or something and now you can go to the fill and see the fill amount and now it rotates like in breath of the wild so okay now what we want to do is go to the color and of course make it green okay so next what you want to do is duplicate the slider so here just press um, duplicate and now this slider on our first slider we will actually deactivate the background real quick okay so on this slider what you want to do is go to your fill and change the color to red all right and what you want to do now is of course do this so that your first slider is in the foreground and your other slider is in the background so if you disable this your other slider should be there and let's change the fill a bit so we can see it better. So here's your red slider in the background and in the foreground, there is your green slider. All right, so this should be your green slider right here. Okay, perfect. So next you go to your assets folder, right click and create a new c -sharp script. I'm just gonna call it stamina wheel press enter and open it up in visual studio okay so the first thing that we're going to do is on the top we're going to uh, write using unity engine dot ui okay then we create a public float oh wait uh this actually doesn't need to be public we can also do it like that, just a float, and let's just call it stamina. Then we create a public float this time, and we call it max stamina. All right, we also want to create two public sliders. Uh, the first one we can call stamina wheel, and the second, public slider oops uh, the next one we can call usage wheel okay perfect so now in your start what you want to do is you set the you set your stamina equal to the max stamina all right and now the real thing happens in update so the first thing that we're going to do is we will check if the user presses the shift key. So input dot get key. Um, get key. Uh, and we'll take the key code dot left shift all right 
So now in this code, we're going to make another if statement. And this time we're going to check if our stamina is bigger than zero. And if that's true, then we're going to do stamina minus equal to 10. And we will multiply that by time dot delta time. Okay, perfect. And down here, we're gonna say that the usage wheel dot value uh, value has to be equal to the stamina um, and here max stamina plus 0.05 F. Okay, then here, what we're going to do is we will type else. And else, if the user doesn't press the left shift key, we're going to say if our stamina is smaller than our max stamina, then we're going to increase the stamina by 30, so 30, and then we'll multiply that by time, time dot delta time. Okay, and oh, I forgot one bracket here. Okay, and then under this, we'll say usage wheel dot value. Oops usage wheel dot value is equal to stamina and here again max stamina okay so under this else we're gonna type stamina wheel dot um value equal to stamina here max stamina okay and now the last thing that we're going to do is we'll actually on here all right on here we're gonna check if our stamina is smaller or equal to zero and what you want to do inside of here is you're going to take your code that makes the player slower. Okay, I'm not going to do this in this video. But uh, if you want, I can make a part two and show you how you can actually make the player slower. But you can just disable your running code inside of here. Okay, so now we're going to close that. Alright, so back in Unity, what you want to do is go to your first slider and add a component. Now add your stamina wheel component. And what you want to do is max stamina, you want to set that to 100. And this stamina wheel, we're going to take the first slider. And for the usage wheel, we're going to take the second slider. Now don't forget to save. And after that, we can test it out. So basically, this should be working, except we can't really um, see all right, we can't we don't really have anything to slow down the player yet. But this is basically the stamina wheel that should be working. If you want me to make part two where I actually make the player slower and don't allow him to run if the stamina runs out, then definitely write it down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode.